Of course, this weekend has been a disappointing one for the tens of thousands of fans making the trip to Concord for the 600. Some have been here all week leading up to one of NASCAR's premier events and both pushed back. Despite the rainy weather, though, local restaurants and retails, uh, retailers are still reaping the benefits of such a large weekend. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre has the story. We try to go to one race a year. So this was one we picked out to come this year because the weather was supposed to be nice and warm. It's a wet weekend for NASCAR fans at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Don DeBar and his pal Dan Bradfish drove in from the Midwest Monday and stayed in this pop-up tent. We stayed dry in there and if I think if it started really pouring rain, I think we would be underwater though. <laughs> but they did make their way off campgrounds. The Cabarrus County Visitor Information Center says the economic impact of NASCAR's Coca-Cola 600 goes beyond the ticket sales. The visitor dollars trickle down with money spent on hotels, food, and shopping. We went to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. That was good, we went to a lot of car shops, breweries. We went and we visited just about all of the race team shops. Bradfish purchased these three growlers from local breweries to add to his collection, which has grown to about 100. Robert Kemp, a business vendor, also has collector items, but on wheels. It is a Richard Petty car. and is He travels to about six to eight races a year, selling the race cars. I can make anywhere profitable-wise, anywhere between four to $6,000 on a five or six day weekend. But this weekend, he says his sales are not on track. When it rains, I still had to pay for the tent, the spot, the hotel since I travel, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. Kemp hopes to still make out okay, but says being at the Speedway and interacting with NASCAR fans like himself make the trip worth it. My dad got me into racing when I was in my early teens. Went to the first race in Atlanta when I was a teenager. I've been hooked ever since. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.